What is going on, guys? Welcome to, and we're gonna call this an ABC. ABC Air Bear Chat. Air Bear Chats, and this is gonna be like a, a little series we're gonna have on this channel, where we literally lay back and we just talk. A little casual talking. Because we want you guys to kind of get to know us better, and uh, you know, get to know kind of where we came from. And I'm pretty sure it'd be very interesting for you guys to just kind of get to know us, right? Yeah, something just. Whatever we want to share, we're going to talk yeah, about like this. Yeah, like what our origins are, you know, mm -hmm, why mm -hmm. we started playing this game. And that's, this episode, we're actually, for the very first one, we're going to, we're going to roll around you. Okay. And we're going to talk about, you know, Air and, and how you, you know, started in the Street Fighter scene. Because I know you're a KOF player. I've heard a lot of stuff about you. And I remember the first time I ever saw Air was in Canada Cup. And, uh, you know, the first thing I heard about him was, was he's from Vancouver, which is our hometown here. Mm -hmm. And then I just know that he was a player who played in Japan. And I was like, well, that's, you know, he played in so Japan. So I was like, is he Japanese or is he Chinese? Yeah, is he like, Chinese? What is he? What like, is why he? is he in Vancouver? Right. And he's a Japanese player at the same time. So I was just, I was very, like, I don't know, I was very confused. So I did a lot of research. Yeah, a lot you. of people were confused. And some people tried to speak Japanese to me. Yeah. And some of so, oh, you speak English? And I actually remember the first interview I've ever seen of you was, uh, you know, Kenzo. Yes, yes, Kenzo, yes. that was the first interview. Oh, I think the one at the airport. At the airport, yeah, because this guy was getting ready to go back. Were you going yeah. back to Vancouver? Yeah, that was the last day I was in Japan oh. for my... So, okay, so first... Okay, yeah, let, I, let's... How did you... Why were you in Japan, first of all? So, first... Okay, so first, I got into Street Fighter when I was in Japan. Yeah. But now, let's go backwards a little bit so I went to Japan because to learn more about like sushi I'm a sushi chef myself yeah because yeah. I okay I study university yeah and then after that I was like okay fuck this this just sucks like, yeah. it's not something I want I want I just want to please my Asian parents yeah, yeah. gotta then, please the Asian parents guys and I was like okay I, like, I've been always working as a cook a cook that's good so that's your, your passion right basically. when I was going to school um and then it's all it has always been like Japanese cuisine. Oh, nice! And I was like, okay, so this is what I'm interested in. And then I went to actually take culinary art. So wait, what interested you about Japanese cuisine though? Like just not just that. It's just like cooking in general. But I like to eat Japanese food, so oh, I went. So you went towards that direction. I was like, okay, I want to learn. So it's your stuff. favorite kind of right, right, right. Food. So okay. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this and I can make it for myself and eat, right? Yeah, and nice, nice. Then, and then I went to culinary art school, which I learned about like Western cuisine, like French food, uh, yeah. Italian food. <laughs> After that, I graduated, I was like, shit, I, I don't like this. You like, don't like, I, all. like, I like <laughs> Western food, but I don't like making it. You don't like making it. I was yeah. like, okay, I think I, I want to like be a really professional shishisha. Yeah. I was yeah. like, okay, Japan, yeah, yeah. that's the way to go, right? So... But there's some research. I have a, a guardian there, like guardian. That's in like. How do they call it in here? I think in elementary they call it guardian, like a person that. Guardian. Of yeah, like. it's a guardian is someone who takes care. Of, let's yeah, yeah, say yeah, like yeah. you know, if someone doesn't have parents or something like that, whoever takes yeah. care of them is their guardian, or whoever they're kind of staying with is their guardian. Right. So or, I basically had that yeah. in Japan. Oh, nice. You already had one from before, before I went there. So it oh, was my wow. my one of my. Um, piano teacher's um, yeah. best friend. Yeah, yeah. So she she's there. She's like, okay, oh, you can just come and I'll bring you around, find you a place to stay and That's shit, awesome. right? That's awesome. That's so cool. But she she doesn't speak English, but she speaks um, Mandarin, which oh. I can also speak. She speaks Japanese and Mandarin. Most but I couldn't speak Japanese back then, right? Oh, so right. I, like, yeah. I know nothing about it. Okay. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I'll I'll come. Yeah. And let's see what's up, right? So how was that experience? It's kind of like you were. You just graduated. I mean, you just did university, culinary school, right? Yeah. And it's kind of like you're just going off on your own to Japan, going right. to school. I was always wanting to go to Japan. That's good, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, okay, might as well try it out and see how I like it, right? Yeah, yeah. So I went there, met up, <laughs> met up with her, and then she, she showed me around. And, and then she showed me the... She already found me a job to work at this as a sushi helper wow. at this place. So we went to this restaurant. Like Dude, that she restaurant. is nice, man. Yeah, yeah. So I went to that restaurant to eat with her, right? Yeah. I was like, holy shit, these guys don't speak a word of English. Yeah, yeah. And I They're looked just, at her. I was like, what am I going to do? I was like, what the heck? Like, they don't speak English. She was like, no. Wow. 
And then she's like, you don't speak a Japanese? I was like, no. <laughs> and then I was like, the heck? Like, like, how? so I just came and I quit all my job and shit, right? I oh. <laughs> I quit all my job. I told yeah. my parents I just came here. And then now I found out that yeah, I did. they don't speak yeah, English. Like, and not just them, like the, the Japanese in general, they don't speak English. Yeah, yeah. Or like, if any, like very little. Right. right. I was like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. I was like, what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna get a job because they won't hire me because I can't communicate with them, right? I was like, <laughs> I was like, okay, like you basically just screwed me over. <laughs> like I'm just here alone and I can't speak the language. <laughs> but it was really nice of her. She went out of the way to like contact the sushi place. No, but then I was dumb enough to not. Yeah, yeah, you didn't really ask enough Research. questions. Yeah. No, but because I, I thought it was like English is like an international language. Yeah. Everyone can at least speak it, right? Mm -hmm. That is the case, like, in a lot of places. But it just depends on where you go, right? Depends on how traditional the place yeah. is, too. Like, if that just sushi place was very, like... But it was in the fucking Tokyo. Wow, okay. So it was in, like, the... So you were staying in Tokyo. I was staying at Yokohama. It's, okay. it's like, 30 minutes train. Okay. So it was pretty close. And, yeah, I was like... Okay, so she was actually an elementary teacher. Oh, wow. So she was like, okay, so she was like, I guess you have to go to school and learn the language. Oh. I was like, I don't have any other choices, right? Yeah, yeah. And she has a lot of like connection to these private schools. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then she was like, okay, you just apply to this one and then start your classes, which I did. So yeah. I had to fork out some extra money. To learn, to learn the language. Japanese, wow. So, so was... basically you started going to school then? Yes. And how so long? the first three months, yeah. I was actually going to school full time. Wow. That's it. And I was really hardcore. So what, what, and Japan though, isn't school like Saturday, Sunday, or just Saturday as well? No, no, no. Monday to Friday. Oh. I went to private. Okay, and private school. Like was private right? Japanese language school. Okay. So it was just Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. But shit, I had to wake up like 6 a.m. every morning because the class starts at like eight but then the train ride to the school is like yeah. an hour ish jeez yeah it was pretty tough nice yeah I that, thought, might, that must have been a really quick cool like you're like i was saying like you were there alone it was kind of like a whole new country for you at yeah point, everything right? was new you were taking a train like it was just it must have been something probably something you're never gonna forget in your life like no i won't it, it was very good experience yeah but yeah the, i was like i freaked out i was like wow you just screwed me over like this yeah yeah, yeah. How long, so after those three months passed, did you, how well did you learn Japanese? Really well, I was really hardcore, I'm not even joking, I was... Yeah. Like you were, you were, were you, you are very interested? Yes, I was. Okay, that's good. And actually helped that I'm Chinese, because mm -hmm. they're Japanese characters, are Chinese characters, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, some of you might probably know some Japanese, yeah. so you know how hiragana is like their vocab, like alphabet? Yeah. They have two kinds, so hiragana and katakana. Yeah, katakana yeah. is like... A foreign language such as English, French, yeah, and those are the alphabet that they use to oh. make a word to oh, pronounce it. Oh yes, so, okay. So, for example, hamburger, they say hamburger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then right away, I know that means hamburger. Hamburger, yeah, yeah. Because I also know English, right? So yeah. that helped a lot. Mm -hmm. So I picked the language pretty quick. Like the first two months, I was so hardcore that. So I lived in a guest house. Yeah. A guest house is like... Um, this was in Tokyo, right? Yokohama. Yeah. So how, go how good was the area you were around, though? It was good. Yeah. They have everything. Nice. So I was really amazed, and the food was really good. That's awesome. I never had a bad meal. Really? Ever in Japan. How... How... Like, it's just random question right before we get out. How expensive were the meals? Because I hear in Japan, people always go out to eat it's a lot cheap. of time. Like, yeah, it's like... It's cheap. Um, one of the restaurants I always go to is called a Matsuya. It's Matsuya. like a fast food place with. They serve like rice bowls and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's fast food. You just go. And it's quick. Like, yeah. fed by your. Like, take it from the vending machines. If they like, give it to them and give it the food. And it's like three bucks. Shoot. Like a bowl of rice, a big bowl of rice three with bucks. a soup and a salad. Wow. Three bucks. And that fills you up? It fills me up. Nice. That's really good. Yeah, and it's very good, very delicious. So, now let's get back to on topic. So the area we're living in is was really nice. Everything was around you. Mm -hmm. Three months after, you learned pretty well Japanese, right? Yeah, because I stay at a guest house. Yeah. I don't know if you guys heard of what a guest house is. It's basically 
it's not a dorm, it's like a mansion, but with your with individual rooms. Yeah. But then everyone shares the facilities. Yeah. The washroom, kitchen, all kinds of people who yeah. studies abroad or working. But nice. everyone lives there are mainly uh, foreigners. Foreigners. There right. are also Japanese people who want to um, learn English. Mm -hmm. That's why they stay there purposely oh, yeah. so they'll meet foreigners. Oh, that's to practice cool. like different languages. Oh, that's really really cool. Now, did you make a lot of friends there that you still keep I in mean, touch with? Yeah, I still keep in touch with most of the Japanese people. I try to avoid the foreigners, like the white people and stuff, because <laughs> I don't want to use English. Yeah, yeah. At all. So That's I good. Try That's to good. Just, so I kind of exchange language with the Japanese. That's so true, they'll yeah, yeah. teach me an hour of Japanese, I'll teach them an hour of yeah, English like that. That's good, because that's a lot of problem people even have here. Like, even in Vancouver, like, a lot of Asian people come here, and then all they do is just, they stick between yes, their circle. Exactly. And they just speak, you know, Chinese or, or you know, whatever Japanese, language whatever they, language they, they And they can is. never learn the language. They never right? learn English properly. Yeah, so the whole three months, I almost didn't speak a word of English. Because I good. tried to avoid it. That's good. And I picked up much quicker. Especially when you're in the right environment, you're only hearing the Japanese. So everything... Yeah. It's like you're in it. Yeah. And then you yeah. just learn it real. That's good. That, that must have been so. Yeah, and I was studying like crazy, do 10 hours a day maybe. Whenever yeah. I go to school, I come home, I start memorizing all the new vocabularies, the yeah. structures and stuff. That is freaking That, that was basically. So it. then you learned, because right now I know, Eric, you know like four languages? Yes. I know English, I know Mandarin, Cantonese, and Japanese. Japanese. Wow, that's very impressive. So